Mr. Subramani and Shakuntala and the dignitaries on the dais and all of us. Today is a very important day, our Independence Day. It is a day for celebration. Notwithstanding what happened yesterday morning, it is a day for celebration. It is also the silver jubilee of the VCARE Ex Servicemen's Trust. It is named very aptly. VCARE, though he spells it with a V and a K, it is about we care. And uh, caring is the central idea in the VCARE Ex Servicemen's Trust. 25 years is a long time in some respects. And in other respects, 25 years is not such a long time. But We Care Ex Servicemen's Trust has been providing care to the ex servicemen, officers, JCOs, and other ranks. Of all the three services, the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force, all motivated by Monday Terra Nanaya Subramani. He was a lecturer after he retired from the service, from the Indian Air Force. He was a lecturer in a government college. And I have been to that college and I have seen how his students adored him. Because he was a rare commodity as far as lecturers go. He was dedicated to the subject. He taught it well. And all the students were girls. And uh, Subramani was very popular. He started environment movement in that college. And I have been there for planting trees. Uh, he is a many faceted person. He also studied law and he is an advocate. For all that, uh, he is very humble. I met Shakuntala a few years after I met uh, Mr. Subramani and I found her to be among the most important thing which I found with Shakuntala is she is ever smiling. You never find Shakuntala without a smile. And it's a very good thing too because uh, Subramani is a, a workaholic and he works uh, day and night and if Shakuntala didn't have the ability to smile I think uh, it would have made a problem for both of them. So uh, she is a very strong person and a good compliment to Subramani. <laughs> Subramani started with an ESM ex servicemen's newsletter and uh, it was a very good newsletter which was uh, being periodically published all at his own cost. Uh, he has spent a great deal of his own personal money in doing these things and uh, giving scholarships, uh, getting this newsletter out and in the newsletter he used to publish uh, the remarkable, some of the remarkable things that he did which includes getting the Ministry of Defense, the uh, DGR and the Government of Karnataka and uh, other uh, bodies uh, the service headquarters to revise their policies. I mean, I've been sitting in army headquarters and I know what policies are. They're written in stone and uh, it's very difficult to change a policy. But Subramani has done it and I think he deserves the most hearty congratulations for this. <laughs> when we talk about the VKR Ex Servicemen's Trust, essentially we are talking about MN Subramani. And Subramani has got many, many attributes, but I would like to focus on three or four. One is his dedication, dedication to the cause of ex-servicemen. He thinks and lives and dreams ex-servicemen. He is very focused. He is very systematic in what he does. He doesn't do things without planning. He plans well. 
and does things and I would have been very pleased to have Subramani as my staff officer but unfortunately it didn't happen. <laughs> he is absolutely straight, straight as an arrow and uh, in his dealings with people uh, he is direct. He has got a very strong sense of justice and uh, he does not pull his punches. He shoots straight from the shoulder. Sometimes he shoots from the hip and uh, the result is that uh, people think that he is a uh, little abrasive but whatever he says and does is in the interest of someone else. It is never in his own personal interest. So that is something which is extremely rare in our country today, the whole country, that somebody does things and he may lose his temper, he may do anything, but it is not for himself, it is for somebody else and it is to correct injustice. He has worked for justice for our troops, retired OR, JCOs and officers too for their widows, for their dependents. And I know of at least two widows of officers who have come, travelled from Mysore to Bangalore in order to get their pension, family pension problem sorted out. Because there is nobody in Bangalore apparently who can do it. So they have to come to Mysore to Mandetira, Nane or Subramani to sort out their problems and he sorts them out. So it is not as though uh, Subramani being a ex-sergeant that he only looks after the uh, problems of the other ranks. He looks after the problems of officers. I have seen scholarship given by him to a child of an officer. Now, I distributed that prize. So, Subramani's span of vision is something which is uh, really admirable. And I, I think very few people have that uh, span of vision. He has studied all the rules. He knows most of the rules uh, regarding ex-servicemen backwards. You wake him up in the middle of the night and ask him a rule, he'll come out with the rule pa page and para. He is that much involved into the problems of ex-servicemen. He has got the CSD facilities to people who were not, who were entitled to but were being refused CSD facilities. It's a very sad thing that, uh, for example, a recruit, a recruit who gets injured and is medically boarded out while he is a recruit, remains an ex-serviceman entitled to these things. But he had to approach the Ministry of Defence because it was being refused. And he got the Ministry of Defence to include recruits who were injured during service and medically boarded out. Now, you can see the extent to which Subramani has gone to provide justice. After all, on looking after technical grounds. Grounds. And when we come to technical grounds, we come to our record offices. It is a sad commentary on the serving community of officers because they are in charge of the various offices and establishments in the Army and in the Navy and Air Force. That the record officers are many of them are deliberately an obstacle to providing what is very clearly a entitlement, a just entitlement of a widow or an ex-serviceman. And uh, I hope this will be reported in the uh, in the in the media uh, because there are media persons here. It is a very sad commentary. And if uh, we cannot, while we are in service, if we cannot look after our men. Uh, and we, in, uh, apart from looking after our men, we are, we are obstacles to their welfare, then that is a very wrong thing to do. These have been brought out by Subramani and he has been writing letters. Uh, some of them are uh, pretty strong letters and that's Keep where the guy in his place. But uh, don't make an enemy because he will be an obstacle to your further work. And Subramani is, his work is like a river flowing. A river flows and if there are obstacles in the way of the river, the river simply flows around it. It keeps flowing and the obstacles, whether they are from the record office or the Ministry of Defense or any other uh, quarter, 
the obstacles will continue to remain obstacles but your effort and your uh, your uh, the vision of your vket will continue to flow like a river and i wish that it will always be like that and i congratulate uh, subramani on this it is not that subramani has been working only at the uh, you know working at record office levels and uh, contacting officers and uh, all that service chiefs he has contacted service chiefs at the local level he has done three or four very important things one is the department of sainik welfare and Re resettlement in mysore uh, has a building in which the offices function and he was instrumental in getting that it was simply called the office of the dswr but he was instrumental in getting it named as devaya bhavan in honor of a mahavir chakra squadron leader ab devaya he was also the originator of the idea of having a war memorial in mysore none of us thought of it it had to be subramani who thought of it and he pursued it quite a bit it has been taken over by others and uh, subramani is now uh, free of that i think unless you intend to continue to pursue that i i'll be with you uh, so that is a very world important world. thing and since his particularly since his father was a world war 2 veteran he has gone around in the last few years locating world war 2 veterans who are residing in and around mysore and he has called them and honored them and made sure that they get their entitlements now this is really something outstanding and i think we should give him a big hand on this also in mysore which is uh, got no active unit apart from the air force selection board here there is no active unit in mysore the ncc and the air force selection board is what uh, presents the face of the defense services in mysore so the civil administration in mysore is uh, used to be pretty uh, tepid towards retired uh, uh, towards ex servicemen subramani was the one who went and approached the district collector or the deputy commissioner here and the other authorities in mysore and then ensured that every independence day and every republic day senior retired uh, personnel of ex servicemen are put on the invitees list in the chamundeshwari uh, in the uh, chamudi uh, stadium where the official function is uh, uh, is held even today there's an uh, official function there and i have a written invitation for that and the reason for that is subramani he has raised the image of ex servicemen in mysore so that is another very great thing which uh, nobody else has been able to do in mysore it is a remarkable initiative the weaker ex servicemen trust and as the founder and the uh, the uh, one man army as somebody said it is just like him it is remarkable manditira nanaya subramani is a remarkable person and uh, i personally believe that i am fortunate to have met him here the silver jubilee of weaker ex servicemen trust is a stepping stone to a longer effort and i am sure it will go from strength to strength and we will those of us who survive for another 25 years will celebrate the golden jubilee of vkt jai hind